Hello, and welcome back to Game Start. I'm your host, Bardic Knowledge, and we continue on with The Witcher 3 with fixed audio this time. I'm still not entirely sure what happened last stream, but my current guess is that one of the drivers went a little buggy, because apparently it did actually uh, distort the audio in the actual recording, despite what I checked over here. And, if I have things right, I am now streaming in HD. Actually, I have a way I can test that. So give me a moment while I pop into Twitch and see what it says about my quality. Yeah, source 720p. Technically, I suppose 1080p is supposed to be uh, HD. According to YouTube, 720 no longer is. But, um, I can't get OBS to go any clearer than 720 at this point. Anyways, now that I've talked about all that for a minute... Yeah, I've already gone through all of that. As I just finished doing some investigation on the Baron's daughter and wife disappearing, if I remember right. So, now I just have to wait and... For this to be over, since I can't skip it for some reason. Come on. Let me through. There we go. Okay, yes, I was gonna go find this pillar. Which I presume to be some distortion of peddler. Prick. You shouldn't talk about yourself like that. Super slow walking is very annoying. There we go. Alright. Apparently you gotta go out this way. Looks like there was supposed to be a smithy over here. There's a weapon enhancement slot there. Eh. Uh, map. Okay, so... I'm going the wrong way to leave this place, it looks like. But... You no, know, it was a roundabout way to get in, wasn't it? So, yeah. With our amazing teleporting horse, and oh hey, some more jobs. I'll take them. <laughs> but first, I need to find the Teller's Hut. I'll probably go and play Gwent and whatnot later. Oh, you certain opened that up real with uh, Interestingly, Roach. Races. Okay, that sounds interesting. The Shrieker. That sounds pretty interesting, too. I wonder if it's possible to kill a beast and then have the, uh, the quest pop up. Alright, so, world map. I need to go up that way from Black Bow. I'm going to make things a little easier on myself. Yeah. And fast travel to Black Bow. And then I can just take Roach from here. I haven't actually checked, but I wonder if the fast travel... Uh, actually advances the time... Oop. Wrong way, Roach. <laughs> Am I going the right way now? What's the matter? A monster bothering you? Nay, a ghost. Okay. Can you tell me anything more? You see, 
Jackamar haunts my dreams. Jackamar is my husband. Or was, Interesting. The second one was a me, but the first one was actually a my. And Wales. So many years apart. I've such woe in the beyond. Come join me. I say, I'll come, Jackamar, but when the gods summon me, not before. Then he says, Leave your wedding ring by me grave. It'll make the white and lighter. And I'd leave it, were the woods not so terrifying. So you want an escort? So, I thought to myself. Or do you want me to do. drop it off? Sure it's your husband's ghost? You saying I can't tell me own man? I'm old, but I ain't gone daft yet. Not what I meant. There's wraiths that deceive. Assume the form of dead loved ones. Troes, for instance. Or dunnies. Nay, I'm sure this is Jackamore. In my dreams, he spoke of our nuptials. How we danced at Bellatane. How the Redanians killed him at Rind. Rind? You've either mixed something up or you're very old indeed. That all happened 80 years ago. Oh, why? Slip of the tongue. Meant to say the Battle of Rivia. Hmm. That feels odd. But it's a side quest, so I'm going to do it. To help. Where's Jackamore buried? A little cemetery near Blackbow, in a grave neath the old tree. Here, take me ring. Once you've laid it down, come to me for your reward. I live in a hut in the middle of the village with my granddaughter, Lessie. Yeah, something's pretty suspicious about this. Hmm. Strange. But, oh, alright, we'll do it. Shouldn't be too far away. You just said it was under the old tree. Well, almost all trees get old pretty quick. Heck, there is no tree at this one. Must be Jackamar's grave. Yeah, there's no tree around it, Geralt. I'm not sure this is it. Alright, that's done. That just feels a little too simple. Wait. Wait, wait. I see a lantern symbol. already have oh okay I'm guessing I should have looked at that before I put the ring down because then I probably would have gotten a bit of story stuff I'm guessing well maybe there wasn't anything sinister behind it after all Why did I just get a pulse from the... Some beggar tape? I don't know, but my controller just vibrated for a moment, so I thought maybe there was something the medallion was telling me about. Okay, so now let's go find... Uh... The elder and tell her what that we've done the thing. Oh well, right in the middle of the village indeed. You, Witcher, what brings ye? Lessie, right? Wanted to talk to your grandma. Let me guess she's Do been I... dead. Yep. But she's been dead for years. Considering what I just saw of ghosts there in the cemetery. Guess I talked to a ghost. Why wasn't she buried alongside her husband? I can't say for certain. I was a little lass then. But me mum told me that shortly before Grand died, she learned Granddad had kept lovers on the side. Okay, so she that's probably no what I would have seen. Him. Seems she changed her mind. She wanted something to connect her and her husband in the afterlife. Asked me for help. 
It's hard to believe. <laughs> but you've an honest look about you. If you have to brown, There are some pretty strange reward. things in this Here, world. Take much, but I'm afraid it'll have to do. Then the pops, now the younger. Mm. Grim Reaper must be having an arm. Okay, so now back to family matters. Wait. Which way do we actually have to go? Looks like it's this way. Move it. Come on. Quit swerving, Roach. Oh, it is right there. Come on now. Never mind. What do you want? Want to talk to the Peller? Too late. We've got dibs on a chat with him. A long one. Really? Think you need to leave now. Do we? You do. I have well, boosted that sign so much I would be surprised if it had failed. Because of that exact reason. So thinking of... Yep, nothing I can do there. And I don't have any points available, but yeah. What's got you so hyper, kid? Gotta wonder about a man who could get Edric's friends all worked up. That's the first door that hasn't opened at my touch. Hey, anybody home? Open up, it's safe now. Devils, who do they bring? What seek ye? I need your help. Whoa, a man, nay, a wolf, grey, though not old. Tis he the Peller awaits. Hmm. One of those vaguely familiar sounding voices. Expecting me. Aye, as the bones declared I should. They shall come whose stench is rape and death, but the wolf shall disperse them, the white wolf. And thus he comes. Omens never lie. Pretty convenient to have such a you a specific title that can be found out so easy. Recognize this. I mean like made of spruce wood. If something just says juniper. white wolf someone. in a seeming as opposed to like freshly cut spruce sprinkled with goat's blood then turns an incense of earth smoke or something and juniper like that. I don't know. for Anna to protect her you make the amulet i sure it was the pella after the way of his forefathers over still water in the light of a full moon proper as amulets go it protected well should never have taken it off hmm so Designed to protect her. Question is whether she what? took it off herself. Oh, the uh, besieged she was, evil all around, wanting to possess her. Old magic, born of oblivion, from dark sources emerged. Old magic? Can you be more Sounds specific? Sounds like another elder blood not situation. Not for speech, nor for the touch. A small protective charm, not a thing more a Pella could do. Anna and her daughter are missing. Know where they are? Nay, no, nay. Pella don't know. Seems but pretty vehement. The behemoth. spirits could know. The Pella will augur. The spirits ask. Spirits, great. Fine with me. As long as I know hey, where to look, where to find them. You've had some help from plenty of spirits so far. Must be found. Princess, none better than princess for finding things. Princess, which princess? Not an actual princess. Princess, my goat. She's fled. Those men must have scared her off. Can we get back to the augering? You need the goat for the augury, or haven't you noticed Without that? Without the goat, impossible. No goat, <laughs> won't work. Will you help me if I bring the goat back? Princess, princess, where have you got to, girl? Fine, I'll get your goat. The There's bell, a phrase with the some bells ringing. alternate she meaning. It. Ring, ring, and she will follow for a while. But beware of wild strawberries. 
Raspberries too. Yeah, treacherous as beasts go. I always keep an eye out for them. No, it's because Princess was really like it. Okay, so yeah, new quest item. What's equipped right now? So now we follow some goat tracks. This way, I think. Apparently have to examine those to get the next ones to show up. I'm not sure if it'd be possible to loot any uh, raspberry or strawberry bushes I run into along the way. Oh, this is quite the winding trail. Another clue. Well, yeah, but which direction are these leading in? Seeing a lot of different paths. I guess I'll just follow the dots. Uh, Hi, strange. Wolfies. Okay, that was a lot faster than I was expecting. I hear goat. That was in my right ear. I don't know if... Yep, there's goat. No, that's deer. Does it not have surround sound on or something? Because I definitely heard that in my right ear. Okay, maybe over the hill? Nope, that's a bear. I mean, bear's no challenge, but... Yeah, there's goat sound. I was in my left ear that time. And I know I've got this straightened out. Or not straightened out, but I've got my ears correctly on. Left to left and right to right. I think. There you are. I needed to check that real quick. Where are the markings to say which ear is which? Could I have had these on backwards this entire time? Well, not entire time. I've only been wearing these for like two weeks now. I do not see an L or an R. Ah, there it is. What do you know? I did have them on backwards. That teach me. Here, goat. Here, princess. Hoofed and horned. Should have known it would be stubborn. Now I've got to get back. All right. Time to try the bell. Come on. Let's go see the peller. Come on, damn it. Oh, uh, this is going to be like leading on... Should have guessed as much. What's a witcher compared to a patch of wild strawberries? It's gonna be like leading animals in Minecraft, isn't it? This way, your grace. We gotta stop every once in a while and pull out their food item. Just to make sure that they're following you. Where the hell did you go? Oh, come on. Shouldn't wander that far off. I barely left you. Come on. There is a bear near here. Bear! Run, you stupid piece of shit! Blasted goat. Should have been able to smell that bear. Why can't I just hold the button down and just constantly be ringing it? Cause, I mean, that's probably what I would do in this situation, and just be ringing the bell non-stop as I walk. No, you keep coming. 
We're almost back. You're no roach, but I bet we can be friends in time. You've got that all-important quality every roach has to have. You don't talk much. I think I actually remember Storm my friend telling dead. me once that uh, Roach is actually like a legacy name for Geralt's horses or something like that. That every horse he's ever had has that name. Goat of mine! Dearest, sweetest goat! <laughs> Is in a week's time, uh, the neck, the uh, Crown Tundra DLC for Pokemon Sword and Shield come out. So there's going to be two more Witcher Three streams after this one before I switch over to that. Happy for you, but I'm kind of in a hurry. Anna and Tamara it suddenly popped into in my danger. head. It's like, oh wait, how long do I got? White Wolf helped the Pella, and so the Pella shall help him. Blood. We need blood. A living being. Fine. Be right back. Does that mean I have to bring in something living, or...? Okay, it's just... switches straight to cutscene. Okay, so the augury requires goat's milk and fresh blood. Will this do? Living rat, I presume. Though it's certainly hanging pretty limp. That seemed a little unnecessary. Yeah, that rat looks dead. But he said he needed living blood. And here it comes. There is blood. Blood. I see blood. Who's? No one, no Tamara, just a child. Oh, well, that was mighty unhelpful. A child that lives not, yet did not die. Sounds like a doll. That'll probably answer all the questions Mentioned I have anyway. Whose? Why, Anna's. Anna was pregnant? She was, and she miscarried. Hmm. Baron didn't mention it. He might not Afraid, have known. perhaps, or ashamed, or forgetful, or perhaps he had no wish to remember. Did the Baron have anything to do with his wife's miscarriage? Foul-tempered he is, and he's a mm -hmm. fondness for hooch. No doubt makes his temper even fouler. Did he abuse okay. his family? Anna came to you. You must have noticed something. The Pella's old, near blind, but Princess came and licked her hand. So what? She's a wise beast. Only comes to those who suffer. What happened to the child? In a grave throne, without rite or ceremony, it awoke. Now it wanders, it seeks vengeance. A botchling. Mm. White wolf, wise wolf, catch the botchling. The botchling will help. Lead the wolf to the loved ones. Botchlings suck the blood of pregnant women and eat their fetuses. They don't help. Tis a being cursed, and witches lift curses. If the white wolf can't lift it, he should bring me its blood. Blood will always find kindred blood. Okay. Heard of one witcher who lifted a botchling's curse. Never tried it myself, though. I know you need to bury it under the threshold. And give it a name. Perform the I'm Roin. The ritual of naming? That's an elven custom. Human, elven, dwarven, ancient. Spirits have no race. They honor not its meaning. Win a spirit's favor, and the spirit shall aid you. Ask, and it will answer. Seek, and it will show you the way. He's got a properly dramatic voice. Whatever I do, I gotta find the botchling first. Seek it at midnight, near the grave that lies empty. 
If what you well, say is true, the Baron ought to know where that grave is. Okay. Now let's do this bestiary entry. Uh, that would be a necrophage? Nope. Hybrid. Vector? No. Doesn't seem to actually be anything new in there. Even though it says I should be able to read the best theory to learn more. Alright, Roach, back to the Baron. Go back to uh, Black Bow, and then we can use the signpost to get back to the Baron. Slower. And signpost. Oh wait, let me double check. So it says it's 7.37 in the morning. I fast travel down to here. And it is... 11.28. So yeah, it actually does change the time. And that doesn't look like a lightning strike to me. Out of the way. I mean, it's raining. Well, hot enough fire can evaporate rainwater without much issue whatsoever. In fact, that was actually something from an old book that I enjoyed as a kid. Where, uh group of adventurers ran into a fire elemental, tried to hit it with water, and the water just evaporated. So they wound up killing it by sucking all the oxygen away from it. Oswin! Where's Oswin? Anyone seen him? I believe I saw him heading to the stable. What? Fire. You blind? Nobody willing to put it out? Ain't that simple. Most are afraid. Baron flies into a rage. He takes no prisoners. My brother's in the stable. We've got to save him. He'll burn alive. Him and the horses. See what I can do. Hurry now. You don't need a reason to help people. Okay, how do we get in? Ladder. I'm probably gonna need R. Getting down, getting down, where do I get down? I'm gonna suffocate. I don't know how to get out. Open the main gate. Okay, I should, um... Alright, let's try that again. Though now I know a bit more about what I'm supposed to be doing. Hopefully it saved, uh, after I accepted the quest instead of before. Of course it's safe before. Out of the way, folks. Someone willing to do something coming through. Hey, the door opened a little easier this time. Seen. Believe I saw men. What? Fire. In that simple. My brother's in this. 
See what I can do. Hurry now! Quick! Let's see if I can blast this open real quick. No. As I thought. Climb the ladder. Damn it. Lots of smoke. Gotta hurry up. Gotta open the main gates. That would be these, then. Wouldn't they? How do I? Where do I find the main gates, then? That these? Come on, I'm standing right at them. I shouldn't have to look down at the open button in order to open the door. Miscarried. Was that before or after you beat her to a pulp? What the fuck are you suggesting? Don't play me for a fool. You'd been beating them for years. Finally, they'd had enough and fled. Sound about right? Ah! Oop, okay. They ran from you, didn't they? <laughs> I just tried to change my sigil, or my uh, glyph, but I wasn't allowed. Oops. Fortunately, I'm a decent fist fighter. Now, sober up. I don't know if that actually works for sobering people up, though. I don't know the science behind it. We need to talk. And I hope this won't spread to the rest of the town. Sit down. You beat them. I never laid a finger on Tamara. Not once. And on Anna. That's another story. Hmm. She always knew how to spark my ire. Your wife. How'd she make you angry? Too much salt in the soup? Socks never darned? Twenty years we've known each other. She's seen me drunk and sober. She was there to greet me when I returned the victor. She was there to patch me up in defeat. Like no other, she knew where to press, where to pinch, so it would hurt. You beat her? For that? For criticizing you? Oh, Witcher, you haven't a clue, have you? Well, perhaps hmm. I shall tell you about it. The question it then today. is, why would she do that? One day, but not today. You knew they had run away from the start. Yes, I knew. Why didn't you tell me? Wasted my time. Say I had. Say I'd said I had troubles. Couldn't control my wife, my daughter. What kind of flaccid prick would you take me for? An honest one. Hmm. Ooh. I feel like I should do this second one. Gotta admit, I do think you're a prick. Not because you couldn't control them, but because you drove them away. What? Don't play the idiot. You gave them no choice. Anna and I. It wasn't as it seemed. Seems. All right, I'm all ears. Tell me what happened. The truth this time. I'd been soaking myself three days straight. Anna came to me, said they were leaving. I begged them to stay. She refused to hear it. I tried to stop her. She wriggled like an eel. We struggled. She fell. Last blasted thing I remember, 
Woke up in the morn, breeches heavy with my own piss. A large bump on my head. Sadly, they were gone. Know what that's like, Witcher? No. How the fuck could you? I was left. I feel like his pronunciation should be distorted by the nothing. lack of teeth. Only the bottle. Signs of a fight in the room. Hole in the wall, wine all over the landing. Was that you? Oi. We tussled. She tried to whack me on the noggin with oh, a candle looked... stick, but kept missing. That looked the like claw pillar. marks on that pillar. I staggered backwards onto the table, spilled the wine, slipped and tumbled. Anna used that moment to flee. She rushed down the stairs, still clutching that damn candlestick. I caught her on the landing. We fell. I, I thought I had her. Then she turned and smacked me in the head. I blacked out. Don't know what happened next. When I came to, I was alone. What happened next? Next? It only got worse. I awoke at sunset, not knowing how many days had passed. Thought it was all a plowing, drunken nightmare. And then I went to the bedchamber, and Anna was not there. Instead, there was blood everywhere. I knew. She'd miscarried. My breath short, my throat locked. I neared the bed and saw it. It lay there. In that? A tiny thing, defenseless, on blooded sheets. Dead. And it was my doing. Seen a lot of dead in my time. But that must have been hard. Unspeakably so. My legs gave out. I saw fields of corpses at Sodden. Saw witches burn in Maribor. But compared to this, all that was a rabbit's prick alongside a great oak. And the guilt is all mine. We don't know that yet. The amulet and a war could be linked somehow. Maybe the fact that she lost it. What did you do with the child? Wrapped it in a clean sheet and buried it. Just like that? Damn you! I gave no thought to a funeral. It was a horror. I wanted it to end. That child had been my dream. I told Anna, the little one, our little one, to make things right. Yet she died before she could be born. Understand, Witcher? My child was dead. I sympathize. I do. Thank you. And know that I hope you find your Siri. Deal we made means I need to find Tamara and Anna first. Just so happens your unborn daughter might help us do that. What? How? Sometimes miscarried fetuses, if they don't get a proper burial, turn into botchlings. Into fucking what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a great, a, a great reaction. <laughs> a cursed creature that draws strength from killing pregnant women. Once it's strong enough, it attacks those who scorned it. But how? How does it know? Blood ties. They're a strong bond. A bond I want to use to find your family. How? One of two ways. Legends claim you can bury a botchling under the family's threshold, perform a ritual, and turn it into a lubberkin. That's a sort of, uh, hob. A guardian spirit that could lead me to your family. Well, my first thought on reading hob is the, the monsters way. in Fable. We kill it and draw some blood. Take that to the Peller and he does the rest. Do not kill my child. It's suffered enough already. Yeah. Lift the curse that it may finally rest in peace. Save for his drunkenness. He is definitely the reasonable authority figure. Whatever we do, we gotta find the botchling first. I'll show you where I buried her, and I'll dig the grave at my threshold. If it turns out we can't transform the botchling into a lubberkin, they can bury us in it. Handy either way. 
<laughs> the sooner we resolve this, the better. Best do it tonight at midnight. Then wait here with me. Near midnight, I'll take you to where I buried her. Get word to the common folk. Let us stay in their homes tonight and draw a line of salt outside their doors. I actually kind of wonder about the origin of uh, up. salt as an sure. anti-spirit uh, thing. Take it. You'll need it, but not for that. Because I, I remember reading a long while back that salt tends to be a uh, or tended to be rare way back when. A bit further. And so it was a luxury, and yet it's such a key thing when it comes to uh, warding off evil. It says to read about botchlings, but I don't have... Oh, there it is. Botchlings. Vulnerable against cursed oil and axie. Okay, so I will want some axie. So in case I have to fight it, I presume I don't have the oil I need to face uh, or to add to my sword against um, cursed ones. Oh, I do have some cursed oil. I mean, it's not like I want to have to use it, but better to be prepared Would you give the child a name no why would we mistake names are powerful seals names are powerful things true names especially and the true name is not always the given name is the spot. As many people these days can attest. Chose a lovely spot. Damn it, will you relent? I'm plowing now I've done wrong. Good. The grave's dug up and empty. What's that mean? Watch things on the prowl. So does it like pull the dirt back in over it when it comes back or something? Look. Ugh. Take it in your arms, quick. And if it goes Garrity, it'll bite us in the arse before we know it. Keep screaming and it will turn rabid. It's calm for now. What happens when it gets married and restless? It'll be goes into combat mode. You'll bleed to death before I can help. Tell me if it starts wriggling. I'll calm it with magic. And that's why one of its weaknesses is Axie. Pick it up. Take it in your arms. You're its father. It'll respond to that. Merciful gods! Back to the fortress. What? Did this? As I recall, you were the one who wanted to test the old legends, change it into a lover kit. Oh, fuck. Just let me know if it starts to get restless, and I'll uh, aim an axe your way. Well, at least pretend that it's not gonna. Well, okay, it might. Never mind. I'd still probably treat it with a bit more dignity than that. But that's probably just me. I want to get ahead of you. Oop, oop, oop. I like that Spectres. Modulating scent attracted them. I'm on it. Uh, 
Oh yeah. Eardin is an excellent spell. Oh. Quiet now. Oh, let's hope that doesn't happen multiple times, but in case it does. But what do you want to do with it? Me? Nothing. This is your job, huh? Told you, gotta bury it under the threshold. The tales are true by tomorrow it'll be a lubricant. From then on. Okay, there is a guy up there probably watching like Oh jeez, what's going on here? Good at that. Chosen a name? No. So think of one. It's important. It's it's a girl. What would Anna have named her? I believe your other daughter's name was Tamara. I'm thinking Mary. It'd be a play on Tamara. I don't know, it's the first one that popped into my head. How many of the spirits and such what now? in the Witcher series are based on actual folklore? Dea should turn into a lubberkin. I'll stay here and wait. You go home. I'll wait with you. Out of the question. But that's my child. The guilt, the responsibility for all this lies with me. Time for parental impulses? It's long past. Besides, nothing else you can do here. But... No buts. Just Witcher's work left to do here. Gotta wait a day and a night for the botchling to turn into a lubberkin. That's it. I wonder if I'm actually going to be meditating for 24 hours if you'll just again. skip ahead. Yep, sit and wait. Fortunately, witchers can meditate for days at a time. Or at least a day at a time. By blood's power, I summon you. With your name, I beseech you. Hear my call and arise, Dea. Uh, the storm's been going for a long while now. 
Not that that can't happen. Lead me to those bound to you by blood. Ooh. Moving a little quick there, child. <laughs> that guy just keeps walking like nothing's happening. <laughs> Just the unusually inter uninteresting sight for all these guys. I oh, know nope, that guy sounds like he reacted. What about you? Nope, no reaction. This spectral glowing baby thing. Oh, there's a reaction. <laughs> Out of all of those guards, only two of them had any reaction whatsoever. I kind of feel like I should summon Roach, but at the same time... Show me what you got. Sorry about that, Dea. Someone was too pushy. Oh, they did not go far, did they? Huh? <sighs> sure wasn't lavender they kept in there. Might be worth looking around, though. Ooh. That looks bloody. Clothing. Change in here. Uh, not terribly private. That, that definitely is, maybe that's cloth. Yeah, it's a little too square to be uh, blood. Ooh. Well, that doesn't look very good. Dogs, it seems it sounds like. Ooh, okay. That's... No way a pitch burner could afford a horse. A bracelet. One of them must have dropped it. Both were here and going the right way. It wants to show me something more. Well, no, duh. Why did you stop us here and you're supposed to be leading me straight there? Is this Andrega going to chase me down the road? Looks like. Come on, little one, we can move faster. I wonder if you could actually go ahead of Roach if I did summon him. Dodge, dodge. Dodging, dodging, dodging. Still worth a closer look. Oh, you guys are just coming out of the woodwork. I should examine that horse carcass. Horse carcass, horse carcass. Where be the horse carcass? There it is. Ooh, it was beheaded. That what takes some strength here? from what I hear. clear off. Takes incredible strength. Torn, too. Yeah, that makes it even worse. Bones have been here a while. 
giant claws. Wasn't a necrophage made these marks. Griffin? Horseshoes missing. Is this the animal that lost one in the smokehouse? Oh, it lost one at the smokehouse? All you commented on was that there were horseshoes. on the saddle. Necrophages will eat anything these days. Uh, my guess is Wyvern or Griffin. Must have been attacked by a powerful beast. Surprised him. Hope they got away. Hmm. Trail goes on. Good thing it doesn't end here. Okay, that one I could see us stopping at just because of all the uh, necrophages. But the smokehouse? We didn't have to stop there at all. Except maybe I'm supposed to find out that they actually took a horse. But even then, it wasn't entirely necessary. Interesting. The runes on the sword fade when I sheath it. Is this it? A fisherman's hut. Seems she wants me to take a closer look. Seek here, sir. Our hut's out of the way. Woeful. We has nothing. We knows nothing. Just need information. Looking for two women, the Bloody Baron's wife and daughter. Not a soul have been here, sir. My sure, guide would say otherwise. Through. Daughter's medium height, about twenty. Her mother's thin, about forty. Seen them? That sir came at night, right, Mummy? Quiet boy. I want to help that woman. She could be in danger. Young and see no one, my lord. He's a kitty. Must have dreamt it. I want to hear this dream then. So, kid, who did you see? Who came here? Pappy brought her at night. The lady does the medicines. She was all afeard. Talked about an awful monster. Said she had to go back. Don't know where to. Mummy and Pappy cheered her up. Gave her clothes. Hers were ragged. Where'd the girl go? Her son said enough. No point in playing dumb anymore. Sorry, sir, but you don't look like one of her father's men. Because I'm not. I'm looking for Tamara and her mother. I need to know if they're alive and safe. Tamara is high. She's to my brother's place in Oxenford. But Mrs. Anna, that's another tale. Though Pretty any windy in this better house. The crow's perch with a baron. Why? Because. Because he beat her, sir. Beat Mrs. Anna, I mean. Everyone knew, but not a one lifted a finger for to stop it. What happened to Tamara's mother? Uh, for like this. Am I... I was awaiting in the old smokehouse with horses. Cold as hell and so dark, couldn't see past two L's in front of you. Moon had risen high. And there was a miscarriage. Come, began to fear some demon had snatched him. But finally, they came forth, and we set off towards the river. So this Suddenly, was prearranged. Out of nowhere, a gale arose, thought it'd tear my head off. And those damn birds, swarms of them coursing over the woods, raising a racket to make your ears... You better not be going for that knife. Mrs. Anna screamed, bent over into herself. Tamara knelt down, gripped her arms. For then, I saw him. Fiery marks on her As in they were glowing or ooh that's a I've seen that symbol before in something not quite a Triskelion but fine what happened next grew even darker seemed someone had put out the stars crickets all went silent of a sudden and then from the woods a roar broke out in a cold sweat and before I could catch my breath a beast jumped out of the woods, big as a barn, with horns and two burning coals for eyes. I thought I was done for. Beast attacked Mrs. Anna's horse, ripped its head off, carried her off into the woods. 
Our horses, mine and Miss Tamara's, got spooked and tore off willy nilly. Twa the only reason we escaped. The okay. Miss wanted to go back for her mother, but my wife pleaded, said she'd die out there alone. Miss Tamara agreed not to go. What marks? These, well, like burned on with hot iron on the palms inside. Burned? Like a cattle brand? Aye, though these wasn't black scars scabbed over. They's hot. Sounds like Look, rune magic of some sort to me. Raw fire. Why, Why have not? them at all? You risked a lot. By the debt. Old Miss Tamara. Three moons passed, a fever gripped my boy. We thought he was done for. Tamara learned it. Brought food and salves. We're poorer than dirt itself. She saved my boy. No two ways about it. Me, myself, I'd have never dared to help. But my missus told me a time of war and contempt's come. A time of folk gone wrong. We need to repay good with good. Who stands by idly does evil as if. Married a wise woman. Indeed. Crying shame we couldn't save Mrs. Anna in the end. A while back, I met a woman in Crookback Bog. Had fiery marks on her skin like the ones you described. Must be her! Mrs. Anna! Gods, she to Crookback Bog. It's where I saw her last. Gods of all Me. heavens protect us. Tis clear now who's whispered to her in the night. It is. The crones took her. She must have made a deal with them. A pact. Oh. It's why they marked her and took her like she was their own. Thanks for your help. Does that mean that... She'll be all right in the end, won't she? I'll do what I can to see that she is. Does that mean that Granny was... So here our paths diverge. Thank you, Dea. Go in peace. Okay. Oxenfurt. Quite the distance. Is there a spot with a... Uh... Yep, Lindenvale's got something. If I go down this way towards Lindenvale, pretty sure I'm headed the right way. Or to the west. That's a vibrating controller. sorts it looks like. Yep. And Linden Vale's not too far from here. Yep, that looks like a watchtower, alright. Now I just need to find the signpost. There it is. Playing for an hour. Feels like it should be a bit less time than that. Good for you. Okay. Whoa there, 
right, so from here, I have to go across the bridge if I can. Passage. Case of the plague surface in the city or something? The plague? Uh, no. We're to not let folk in the city. It's an order, so I don't, unless someone's got a pass. <sighs> what kind of pass are we talking about? Well, a normal one. A transit pass. Who issues them? How should I know? I'm a lowly soldier. Who ordered the city gates closed? Word is the king himself. Doesn't want paupers hmm. and refugees pissing all over his beautiful city. Apart from which, Royalty. when folk can go hither and thither, always a chance some spy will slink through. This way, spies got it harder. So, Unless, of course, they have no a secret pass, way in and no out of the city. Passage. Farewell. <laughs> it doesn't actually uh, give me a destination on this one. Interesting. In that case, I will actually switch my quest back. Ooh. And then I got a bunch of stuff I need to look into. Like this Shrieker contract. Whoops. The Merry Widow few other bits there. But this is what I'm working on right now. So we'll finish this oh, up. Enjoy living. Okay. Oh, a whole lot of guards here at the end of the oh. bridge. Excuse me, fellas. Doesn't look like there's a signpost in the immediate area either. say an island capital city is an excellent defensive position. Part of why moats exist is people making artificial islands out of their home out of their homes. But um yeah I can't actually I wonder can I boat my way in? I mean, it seems unlikely, but possible. Let's find out. Come on. You can climb this fence. There we go, like that. Okay, head north till I hit the body of water, then go northeast. Let's not do it on foot. Come on, Roach. No need to pop to, uh, faster. Plod along. Quit swerving. We're going in a single direction. I bet. That 
That's it, Roach. Whole lot of ruins. body of water. That looks like a boat, all right. That's probably not the boat that I'm going to be using, if I can use it. Interesting. Mm, boats are in pretty bad shape. Me, guard boats, they'd say. But no wood for to make a fence. They're boats, I. So, me, fence, make a boat. Boats, guard boats. <laughs> well, that's some uh, insane troll logic. Why'd you join the army? Someone recruit you? Crude? No crude. Come good soldier man. Say charging man. What's boats? Peasanters, they steals. Peasanters' boats. That's the troll all the long. Don't know. Then I reckon to the troll all the long. The Danian seized song. some peasants' boats. Thought the peasants might try to take them back. What happened next? Charging man go. Soldier man's drink and sing. Not sing. Listen, troll. Both. Come, peasanters, swing sharpie sticks. I yes, they do. help one army. Runner to runner. Holla, peasanters. Holla, soldier man's. Gentle. Move them apart. But all lie down. Soldier man's too. Okay. My order had me watch boats. And yeah, that's his name. Watch I. Trollalolo soldier man now. Trollalolo just sing too. You for sing you? No thanks. Heard you earlier. But listen, where are the bodies? Don't see any. Hungry go. Should no waste. Peasant is good food. Soldier man, friends, not so good big stew. Always good. Guess I understand. Wartime rules. Man, soldier man too? Uh, no. Tra -la -la -la. Makes man soldier man. Trollo, chargy man. Say, green paint, and man, breathe paint. Uh, paint? What are we talking about? Paint! Paint! Red colory, white colory, city gods, no city go. Trollolo, what's boats? Fine, I'll try to find some paint for you. Good man's! Redaini army, no service forget. An interesting troll. But there is a small boat here, and somehow I don't think the troll is going to mind. Or sorry, I don't think Trollolo is going to mind if I take it. If I can. 
Yep. So now I need to get to the pier. which there is another boat, and hopefully I'll be able to enter through that side. Well, that was interesting. All right, let's see if we can get inside from this side. Oh, looks like it. I honestly wasn't sure if that'd work. They're not guarding very well then. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to push you around there. I'm looking for a specific person guessing then that she's inside this building. Ah, here's a door. I'm looking for Tamara, the Bloody Baron's daughter. Your brother said I'd find her here. Voitek sent you, sir. How else would I know she was here? Interesting that he put his pipe Wait away, but it's not I'll fetch still smoking. Away. Hi, kitty. Mine's asleep. You're looking for me, and who might you be? My father sends you. Yeah, to see if you're still alive and well. I'm Geralt of Rivia. I'm quite alive and extraordinarily well, Geralt of Rivia. Better than I've ever been in this rotten life of mine. And now that you've seen me, I bid you farewell. Wait. We've nothing more to talk about. Your father's a vile man. You're angry and bitter. Can't blame you. Why do you help him then? Why did you take this job? Because he knows something about someone dear to me. Promised to tell me if I found you and your mother. Got it. A bit of blackmail. Just his style. Well, now you've found me, you can tell him I'm alive and I'm never coming back. Before I agreed to look for you, your father told me his version of events. Tell me yours. Mine? It's dull as life amidst the swamps. My earliest memories are of a drunken father lying under the stairs, caked in mud and clutching a bottle. Next dozen years, Pretty much the same. Father would drink, disappear for days, then come home in a rage and send furniture flying. Thank the gods for war, I was glad every time they sent him off. And the quarrels. I remember him screaming at mum, the thuds as he beat her, then her sobbing. I'd hide under my bed and long for silence. That's the long and short of it. Multiply by 19 and there you have my life. Finally we'd had enough, mum and me. He crossed the line and we fled. I don't mean to pry, but I know your mother had a miscarriage. His doing? He shoved her, she fell, that's how it started. We were alone, no one to help, blood everywhere. Worst night of my life. Sorry, must have been hard for you both. Mum was in shock, she was raving that it was better this way, that she never wanted the child. She must have had a fever. She was losing blood the whole time. She didn't want the child? Said she'd sooner cut open her gut than bear another child from his seed. Oof. Voitek said some monster carried off your mother. That is what happened. It was enormous. Twice the size of a bear, but much quicker and more agile. It grabbed Mum before we could react. Now I don't even know if she's alive. Your mother's in Crookback Bog. Seems quite happy, actually. Though I think she's not quite right in the head. What? She lives. I must go there at once and get her out. Wouldn't recommend venturing into the swamp. 
Especially with decision. three powerful fair Did folks standing right there. It? What will you do now? Find my mum. You realize that might not be that easy. Don't worry, I'm not daft enough to believe I can do it alone. I've got some new friends now. Powerful friends. They'll help me. Who are these friends, if it's not a secret? No secret. Heard of the Church hmm. of the Eternal Fire? A priest helped me contact the Redanian witch hunters. Righteous, brave men. They'll help me. Hence the candlesticks in your room. So you believe in the eternal fire. Once the heat of the fire has set your heart aflame, it gives you strength and leads you down the path of truth for the rest of your life. Um. I hope to bless you with its warmth one day. Thanks. Thing is, fire's tricky. It's easy to get burned. As Elvin learned. What about your father? Who? Oh, him. I don't care. I won't go back to him. That bit of my life? Forgotten already. Well, well. <laughs> a witcher. Never thought the Baron would stoop to hiring a monster slayer. Though I hear you're good at tracking things down. Well, I'm here, aren't I? Desperate fathers have been known to do a lot to find their daughters. Unexpected from a witcher. <coughs> I thought your mutations cleansed you of humanity. Stripped you of emotions. You don't need mutations to strip men of their humanity. I've seen plenty of examples. <laughs> Glad you know who I am. Haven't introduced yourself, though. Graden, witch hunter in the service of His Royal Majesty Radovid of Redania. I'm certain you've heard of us. Rings a bell. If the bloody Baron sent you to fetch his daughter, you'd best face it. You will fail in your task. I appreciate your concern, but I don't need it. As for Tamara, she can make her own decisions. Hmm. <coughs> Noble of you. <laughs> a killer for hire, abandoning his bounty for the good of another. The hunters See, and the church of the I wasn't told to bring her in, I was just told to find her. So where are you gonna take her? Tamara must rest. She's had a harrowing experience. When the warmth of the eternal fire has restored her strength, we shall see about finding her mother. Hope you know what you're getting into. I've never been more certain. The eternal fire is the best thing that could happen to me. In that case, good luck. Thank you for respecting yeah, you're my probably choice. gonna need it. Farewell. At the kitty. Can I pet the kitty? Why can't I pet the kitty? I wanted to pet the kitty. Fortunately, I've got a kitty. I can pet him over here. <laughs> See, yep, there you go. There's Kitty. I didn't need to do that, but I wanted to. Okay, so I gotta find signpost nearby. Actually, I'll do the um the notice board there, and then I'll pop back over to uh, wait, wait. Uh, I am in the city. Trollolo wants me to buy. Some paint for him. Where's the one for that? Did it not actually count as a quest? Oh, there it is. Everyone to me! To me! Best wares this side of the Ponta. Is it you who has what the paint? What can I do you for? If I ain't got it today, say the word and I'll have it tomorrow. Well, first let's Let see, see what you got in stock. Pick something. Hey, you got the paint I'm looking for. 
and basically nothing else of current interest. Want to play some Gwent? Wanted to play cards. Doubt we need to wait till tomorrow. <sighs> I'm pretty sure I still don't have enough cards to uh, make a proper deck. Yeah. Other than the one I started with, of course. Can I change leader? Okay, you're still. Uh, you're still locked. So let's start. I hate going first. Oh wow, barely any seizures in this. Yeah, I'm going to want to hang on to Stennis. Yeah, let's hang on to the decoy also. I've got two mid-rangers. Fog. Yeah, we'll bounce the fog too. Okay, so let us begin with... PFI. I think I'm a bounce taller back to my hand. And just a double check. Yep. Here, have your taller back. I'll take a couple of cards. Both of those cards were this guy. Okay, so you've just evened the playing field again. How do you like them apples? but at the same time I want to play Stennis and potentially lose this round. I'm going to pass. See what my opponent does. Ooh. Okay. But now I have a major card advantage. Show me what you got. Interesting. Very interesting. Really now, passing already. open up with a Stennis. Oh, of course I get the card that blocks. <sighs> card that blocks melee when most of what I've got is melee. I think you're going to be slightly ahead of me, but I have 
bit more than you do. And playing the weather is not going to help you as much as you think. just going to win. I'm going to clear the skies and win heavily. Alright. Another round of Gwent 1. Okay. Back to uh, Prololo. Excuse me, guys. I gotta go talk to a uh, unusual recruit of yours. Oh, hey, the boat remained. That was a much more on target jump than I was expecting it to be. Yeah, the boat should not be able to turn like that. It's just not possible. Uh, fluid dynamically speaking. But I'm not gonna argue too hard about it. Acceptable breaks from reality and all that. Read the islands. Get around to the Redanian camp. And then stop here and hop out. Talk to Trollo. Worthy Private Snake, report on order. Hmm. Just so happens I have some paint on me. Oh! 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 Uh oh. Ooh. What's the matter? Has paid? But how? Don't know. Hmm. Might be a problem. Man's how no. I order. Man's knows. I guess I do. Depends what. Birdo cutlery. Redania Birdo. Shields life. Uh, know what? You're the Redanian soldier. You should paint it. Yeah, try I. Man's no go. Man's watch. Good no, Birdo ugly. No, actually, it's not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah. Man's pride. That Birdo ugly. Clonalolo see. Clonalolo see ugly. Man's good. No, like other man's take cues. My pleasure, Private Slate. Barrels and us for no. And now I'll use this. And hop on back down this way. And I just realized that I didn't actually stop by the, um, the, uh, notice board and pick up anything from there. Oh well, another time. Wouldn't be surprised if I have to go back there again. Oh wow, they've still got, uh, fire damage to the place. Well done. I imagine it'd be easy enough to just, uh, reset it back to undamaged. Yeah, I've been a friend of Trolls for all of the Witcher series, it seems. Cause, just because they're, um, complete idiots, doesn't mean they're not people who just so happen to have a tendency to eat other people. Ask uh -huh. a service of the Witcher, the Pelamost. A witcherly service, that's to say. What do you need? Tell me. 
A man who fears no evil the Pella needs. Forefather's Eve is nigh, with rites to conduct. Wandering souls to emerge, damned souls too. We've the circle to protect from these wretches. Okay. Why hold the ritual at all? At times men die choking with regret. At times death takes them before they've tasted any bitterness in life. These poor souls, unfulfilled, cannot leave this veil of tears. Their spirits wander midst the living, must be judged, sent on their way. This we do on Forefather's Eve. All right. Seems like you could use a witcher. So yeah, I'll help. You'd not refuse the pell on you. The time's come to gather the folk. Across the lake we must journey to Pike Isle. Oh. There in the circle of stones we shall meet. The sooner we resolve this, the better. Best do it tonight at midnight. Okay, well. First I'll go talk to the Baron. Remember me. Stable hand pulled you out of the fire. We'll never forget that. Here. I'm grateful. Huh. Didn't do it for money, but sure. Thank you. Not gonna turn down money either. I'll tell you. I'll tell you where the loot's at. <laughs> Witcher. A word, please. Oh, everyone's got a word for me today. What is it? That night when the Baron ordered everyone to lock their doors, stay inside. What did you and the Baron do? Gotta ask the Baron about that. Speaking of which, know where he is? Garden. Spends a lot of time sitting there of late. Drunk. No. Don't drink, don't eat. Just sits. Seems he's had himself a revelation. There you are. See the hollyhock there? The violet blooms. Brought the plants here from Nazaire. Anna had read some story. Insisted on having them. Spent hours tending to them. Trimming, pruning. She was so content at that. And them, the frilly ones. Called birds of paradise in Zeracania. But Tamara called them dragons of paradise. She adored them. That actually gives me an Damn idea for a magic card. Learn which blooms would please Daya most. Oh, it's good to know her spirit's free. Your loss. It must hurt. Bad. But there wasn't anything we could do. No. Not now. Not anymore. It was too late. That was clear. Should have acted earlier. Taking them all from this damned felon. In this hole. This reesty mire. Nothing could go right here. Got some information about your family. You've learned something? Couple something. Let's go inside. It's a bit chilly out. Dragons of Paradise makes me want to make a magic card that is basically the birds story. of paradise. But a dragon, and, and therefore big enough. What the blazes? She all right? In mean, good health, safe. Why haven't you brought her back? Never offered to do that. <laughs> How do you know she's safe? You see her at least? Yes. I saw her. We talked. She said I could tell you she's safe. When will she come home? And that she's not coming back. She's not to return. But I prepared all for her. Her rooms are white. I sent away for new pantoblas from Toussaint. How can she not come back? The sooner you accept this, the better. Face it, you haven't been the best father. I have not. True. But I'd change. I'd be different. If only she'd return. If only they'd both come back. Maybe all is not yet lost. She's in Oxenfurt, you say. Well, maybe she hasn't left. Maybe she'll hear me out. You can always try. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't get my hopes up, though. 
Yeah, I'm with Geralt on this one. I must. Life is pointless without her and Anna. I've nothing to lose. Yeah, and about Anna. Learned anything? We'll talk about her, don't worry. But right now, you'll tell me about Siri, just like we agreed. Fine. A word once given. When Siri was on the mend, we took her out on a hunt. Thought a bit of galloping would warm up her limbs, gone stiff from so much. Hey, do I get another Siri chapter? I do like the Siri chapters. That lass of yours. Pure luck in the flesh. To hunt down a wild boar that size. Why, worthy of one of King Faltest's feasts, were he still among the living? Siri, come! Our haunt should be yours as I see it. Oh, you done well, lass. Not bad. Not bad at all. But who goes boar hunting with a sword? No bow at hand, no spear. My sword was all I had. <laughs> <laughs> well, you brandished it beautifully. Where they teach you that, anyway? Ermoran. I'm going to go with the honest answer. At Kaer Morhen. Witcher school there, I. But they only took lads, as I recall. I'm not a witcher. Just grew up there. I believe it. Seeing how you swing that sword. No, but from what I've read, potions. she wanted to not be a so witcher. Much. A bit. Because you but... see, at times I get this pinching back here. Shut it, Egrin. Nobody cares about your backside. <laughs> a woman could swing a sword, I've known one, but never seen a lady mount anything but a cock proper. All tipsy on horseback, nothing strange on account they bloody mount them sideways. Perhaps you'd care to wager? Think you can outrun me on an horse? <laughs> Naturally. What's the stake? Black Mare. The one in the stable. Oh, that won't do at all. Well, that's an awfully gloomy face. Too much of a coward to race a woman. The horse is mine. Oh. To race the Baron himself. I'd consider it an honor. <laughs> oh, that'd be a sight to behold. Would it ever? Done. I do like if Siri. If I win, I take your sword. Agreed. I'd not drink any more this night. You'll want your head about you. We start at daybreak. Do I actually get to play the race? I presume I do. All right. Depending on how long this takes, it might be a good, a good way to end out the episode or stream. I doubt it's going to take twenty-two Night minutes dawns. though. Ready. 20 minutes, really. As ever. Yeah. First one to the tower. Man chop! <laughs> Come on, Siri! Don't you embarrass us! <laughs> I love that it gives a line for this is where you go on the map. actively controlling on this time rather than letting them the horse decide the path by the way of the road okay horse is almost out of stamina so slow down a little bit we go oh I, that was like perfectly within the horse's stamina I didn't need to slow down at all not woman worthy of the best horse the mare is yours Thank you! What? Another chance to win. Ooh, do I fight alongside? Or... She screamed like a mad woman. In an instant, all had forgotten the wager. Every man ran to save his skin, even were he to break his neck. And they make it? Some, aye. Others were not so fortunate. 
But what happened then? I must say, Witcher, seen a lot, but nothing like this. Never. Uh-oh. I know that look. You're a fast learner. You'll know the rest once you find my wife. <sighs> Ooh. Let's play around to Gwent play first. Gwent. I do. And what's more, I usually win. Ooh. If you've a deck, sit down. Outplay me, and I'll give you one of my unique cards. How's that for enticement? Sounds good to me. Let's lay him down. Oh, I really hope I win. Ah. Keep going first. Okay, I don't want one of those guys. And I don't want torrential rain. Okay. Well, I think I'm going to open with Stennis. Get those two more cards. Oh, I got another EFI. Oh, hey, gave me his own buddy there. <laughs> well, I think I'm going to decoy him and then play him back on your side. Now I'm very tempted to play something. Wait. Okay. Yeah, play him on your side. Did not give me much of what I was looking for. But then, play a Biting Frost, reducing them down to ones. And then... I just have to play... of ones of my own and victory is mine oh no it's draw oh well ah, I should have played one more oh well time to start stacking things because this this one's going to have to be my victory Scorch. Kill the strongest card on the field. Alright. Here, let me just play another one. I've probably lost now. Yep. I lost heavily. But I'll still play. And then I'll play. Yeah, that winding up being a draw instead of a victory ruined me. I forgot that it... Because it, it showed a 3 a versus a 2. So I you're thought... complete shite, but you... Yeah, I, I just... Listening. Miscalculated a bit. Let's play again. <laughs> Let's lay... Okay. Oh, good. He's going first. That'll give me an advantage. Oh, yeah. What I've got... I'm actually gonna drop the Impenetrable Fog and the Clear Weather, which got me another Clear Weather. Well, 
I'm open up with a Stennis. Give me two more cards. Gives me a taller. I'm going to decoy taller. Then I'll play taller. Getting me two more cards. Not much synergy amongst them though. Then I will Fighting Frost. Follow that up with Death Mold. Which is a tie. Oh, you've got Kira? Hmm. Yeah, I'll play Kira as well. I'm ahead of you on cards right now. <sighs> Come on. Not bad. I should probably just take this loss. Yeah. I'll just take the loss. Let's see what you do this time. I see your ballista and raise you a trebuchet. I see you raise a trebuchet as well. Here, have another one. How about Zoltan? Ah, some biting frost. Alright, I'll let you think that you've got me there. Oh, you've passed. I probably shouldn't have done that. Oh well. Now we see what your three does against my f Damn it. See what your three cards are. Oh, it's a good thing I had that out first. What you gonna do? <laughs> and I win. Because all he had left was weather effects. <sighs> you won. The man's only as good as his word. Take the card. I fear Velen's short on worthy opponents. Boat builder in Oriton might be one. There was also an old soothsayer. Lived east of here, near the windmill last I heard. There's a lad. About as reasonable as an old mare, but he plays a devilish hand. In fact, I don't rightly know that you're ready for him. Alright, but I'm just curious about that card. But before I do oh, that, do I do want to, to finish. I want to finish this. Plowing out. Why do you not say so forthwith? Where is she? Why have you not returned with her? She's in Crookback Bog. Got food, a place to live, and keeps herself busy. Didn't look like she had the slightest desire to leave. You were to bring her back, not report on the condition she lives under. 
I was supposed to find her, and I did. That was our deal, nothing more. You still think me rotten to the core? A base bastard, don't you? You believe I alone am at fault for what happened here? Hmm. Well, I haven't heard the whole story just yet. So, give me the rest of it. Doesn't matter what I believe. Yet, looking at you, I see contempt. Can't speak for the world you witches inhabit, but in ours, nothing is ever black and white. Definitely not black and white in the witchers either. A whole rainbow of people like that uh, wolfman guard from Witcher 1. Probably gonna say you're not the only one to blame. Alright then, I'm willing to hear your side of the story. Bin me the last tale of the stream, O Baron. Annie, it was love at first sight. A spear tore through my shoulder at the Battle of Anchor. She tended to my wound. Once I'd recovered, I asked her to marry me. She wept with joy. Soon after, Tamara was born. And after that, they sent me to Sidaris. A warlord had risen against King Athen, and Faltest sent help. It was one battle to the next, one conflict after another. It was a life of war. I was seldom home, and I found comfort in drink. Grew so fond of hooch, I couldn't part with it when I did get home. Actually reminds me of a Sherlock Holmes story. Except there was a third party in that one. All right. What then? I went from front to front, battle to battle, collecting soldiers' coin, while Anna sat alone with the babe for months. Later, I learned she'd not been so alone after Oh, all. well, there's a th another third party. For nearly party. three years, she found all. comfort in the arms of one Evan, a childhood friend, a dog's bunghole. Understand, damn it! One tussle in the hay I'd have waved aside, put it out of my mind. But the woman cuckolded me for years, without a whisker of concern for me, for my love. How'd you find out? Came home one day and Anna was gone. The things too. Found a letter. She wrote that she didn't love me. That she'd left me for that knob liquor and taken Tamara with her. Felt like I'd been rammed in the arse by a horse. I went to find the bugger. To get the girls back. Bring them home. Yet soon as I saw him, something turned inside me. Something dark. I slaughtered the shit-eating twat and fed his carcass to the dogs. And that's when it started. Imagine Anna wasn't exactly pleased. Ha! Bloody understatement if I've ever heard one. She flew into a fit. Hysteria. Threw herself at me, kicking and clawing. Finally grabbed a knife. It would have been the end of me if I'd not leapt aside. It was the first time I hit her. I had to calm her. Felt I had no other means. Things changed. They would never be the same. Anna tried to take her own life and mine several times. She would prod me, goad me, taunt me in the hope I would hit her again, perhaps. She'd scream that I'd robbed her a life of love, that I'd destroyed the idea for her and so I might as well kill her. How many times I apologized. How many armfuls of blooms and gifts I brought. She cared not a bit. Two years of her anger had turned to indifference. Broken at times were her bouts of hysteria and my bouts of drunkenness. 
cannot fathom how we survived those years. But we did. Now, as you know now, not everything was as it might have seemed. Rarely is it. Hmm. You're right. Faults on both sides, yours and hers. I'm content that you finally see that. Very well, then. If you won't bring Anna home, you might at least tell me how she landed in that blasted swamp. <sighs> she made a pact with the crones and... Well, I think she might have lost her mind. A pact? What the bloody hell? She was with child, a child she didn't want to bear. Went to the crones for help. They promised to rid her of the problem in exchange for a year of her service. And they kept their word in their own twisted way. What do you mean? Anna must have thought the child inside her would somehow disappear. Instead, the crone sapped her of strength and ultimately forced her body to miscarry. I think that's when she started to lose her mind. Then they placed magic tethers on her, tethers that cause great pain when tested. A guarantee she'll pay off her debt. A pact with witches? Bloody nightmare sounds like some jest. Do I actually we have to fight the ladies? We can't leave her there. Venturing into the swamp, even with armed men, is just a bad idea. It's a dangerous place inherently. So yeah, they are, those crones are a greater high fair folk. I'll not sit on my ass waiting for them to return her. Would you wait? Count on their mercy if they had your daughter. Probably not, but I'm a witcher. And I'm a husband and a father who's fought off his life and the lives of his loved ones. I'll gather my men. Go there and retrieve Anna. We had a deal. I've done my part. Your turn to do yours. A word once given. Now the end of it. Now what After did I the, last? Uh, basilisk. Oh, that was a basilisk? Him. It had oh, wings. Right. Gargantuan. One I would have thought cockatrice. Well, I thought Griffin. But cockatrice was not Griffin. I thought we breathed our last. Watch out! If I don't survive this, you're to take whatever you want from the fortress. You'll survive! <sighs> Let's show this bastard what we were! I don't have a ranged weapon. You get back down here. How are we supposed to take it down? I don't have a crossbow. Flies again. That was interesting. Come on, get down here when we finish this. I'm over time as it is. Home, I definitely think cockatrice more than basilisk. But it is time to end the stream. So, save game. 
I'll check out the Gwent deck next time I stream. But thank you for joining me on this Witcher 3 stream. Hope you'll join me for next time. Until the next, live well.